The references page of a source is a gold mine for researchers. If the source is exactly what you're looking for, you may find other sources on similar topics in the references page. Skim through the titles of books, chapters, or articles to see if there's something you like. The titles are in green right here. Another thing you can do is retrieve a book from the library. Anytime you see a citation that has the information about the city, state, and or country, then that's a book. Copy the title, which is in italics, then paste it into Pegasus. Don't forget to place quotation marks around the title. Click on the title. At this point, you can copy and paste the call number onto a Word document or write it down. Another option is to email each source to yourself. This works great if you have a mobile phone with internet capabilities. I walk around the library with my iPhone looking for my books. Are you looking for a journal article instead? All right. Each time you see a title in italics followed by numbers, then that's a journal article. Here it's in yellow. This means it's in volume 38 on pages 53 to 61. What I want you to do is copy the title, go to the library homepage, toward the bottom select electronic journals. If you're off campus, make sure you log in up here first. If you forget, then you'll be blocked access to most articles. Paste the title into the search box, then click the search button. Click the title of the journal. A window will pop up. You need to select a database that is holding this journal article. What you have to watch out for are the years of publication. This database starts with articles in 1997. This one starts with 1985. I don't remember what the source said, so I need to go back to check. It's 2003, so I can pick either one. When given the choice, go for EBSCO Host. It has a site feature that I'll show you in a minute that you'll love. You have two choices at this point. You can select Search Within This Publication if you want to copy and paste the title. Don't forget to place quotes around the title and change the filter to Title. Sometimes these databases don't always work, so it's good to know the other way to find the article as well. Return to the screen with all the years. It's 2003. Now, there are four issues. The article is on page 53 to 61. Those numbers are low, so I'm going to guess it's issue 1. The higher the page numbers, the higher the issue number. Scroll down until you find the article. Select the PDF icon to download or print the article. Now here's the cool thing about EBSCO. Look for the citation icon, then click on it again. EBSCO host then generates the reference for you. All you have to do is copy and paste it into your references page. How easy is that? Now, I showed you how to find a journal article by going to electronic journals. I go there first because I don't feel like going into the library to look for it. I just wanted to download it from the comfort of my home. However, if you don't find a journal title within electronic journals, then that just means there's not an electronic version of it. There might be a hard copy version of it in the library. Yes, you'll have to go into the library to get it. To see if they have it, click on Advanced Search, type in the name of the journal, and select Journal Title from the drop-down menu. Then click Search. Select the number to see what you got back. Just like a book, the journal has a call number. When you find the journal, you notice that there will be several volumes on the shelf. Look for the correct year and volume number and use the copy machine to get a copy of it. Here's one last point. Some students assume that you can copy and paste the title of a journal article into the search box for electronic journals. That won't work. This is for journal titles like Cosmopolitan, Time Magazine, Science Journal, and so on. It's not like Google Scholar, so don't get those two confused. Also, if you can't find the journal title or article, just go to the home page and select the chat link. Tell the librarian which source you're looking for and they can direct you right to it. The reason why it's important to get journal titles is that instead of looking in Google Scholar that may have millions of articles from thousands or hundreds of journals, you'll be looking in one place for articles. And you don't have to worry about wondering if it's credible or not, especially if you're getting it from a peer-reviewed source. You just have better odds this way.